Hey guys, welcome back to CanCode, and today we are going to be doing part 29, I think. Wow, that's pretty insane. So, now what we're going to be doing here is starting by fixing a couple of glitches. So, one of the ones I'm going to fix is actually for down here. This, here the shop items. When we scroll down here, we will see that for the bullets, um, so like the box bullets and everything, we can buy it when we have a costume one of the player, which is the normal gun, and even if we have the machine gun, the automatic gun, but we cannot buy it if we have the rifle. So what we need to do is we need to uh, right click this, take that off, and attach it in again, make this three, and for the rifle, I think we'll just make it 100. We could make it like 50 or something because it's super powerful, but I think 100 is fine. Uh, makes stuff less complicated. And we're gonna have to change this. Or it, it's at three already, uh, but we just need to attach it here with the actual bullets being, we'll say, 1250. And we will add that there. And then we will add this down here like that for 15,000 there we go and now we should be able to buy bullets when we have the rifle what I'm gonna do real quick is I'm gonna come down here to the bottom where it has the rifle and I'm going to make it this value to be negative one and that is going to allow me to purchase it for free so we will go here to the shop buy the rifle and the shop is glitched up but that's because it's negative so we're not going to worry about that uh, now when we go play and press Q and now we have the rifle now we should be able to when we die purchase bullets but the bullets are going to be too expensive because we have negative money so we're going to just go here to the first box of bullets uh, bullet box and we will make it negative one here so that it is free so it looks like we've died over here so we can go to the shop purchase the bullets and nothing happens let's see what the oh do you know why it's because we don't have we actually have less than minus one we don't even have zero so we can just set the cash to zero and then try and purchase a box of bullets there we go 193 and now we have 100 bullets. Alright, so that looks like it is working. I'm going to change this back to 99. I'm going to scroll down to the bottom and change this back to 399. And we are golden for this. Another thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go and fix this menu problem here. I figured out why the, bo uh, the back button was kind of glitching when we clicked the shop. And it was because when it goes, it's moving everything and the back button was appearing before it moved off the screen so it was moving off the screen too but now that we added that weight block it fixed it but now it also fixed another glitch mostly the other glitch was that when we clicked the shop sometimes it would bring us to the play and the reason for that is because what was happening is when we clicked shop it was actually changing this button to the all of these to the back button before it got off the screen and sometimes my mouse was full, uh, still clicked and still held down so what happened is the back, the play button expanded up and downwards because the uh, back button is wider or taller. And so then my mouse ended up being hovering over that, which then brought me to play. It brought me to the shop too, remember, but it did both. So that was pretty annoying. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some things to the shop to make it look a lot nicer and to make it fix all the glitches that it's having. So I'm going to start by changing the art of the menu buttons and then I'm going to change the code. as well so it looks all right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and make this work a lot better so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set the size to 100 that is fine I'll just delete that because 
it is set to 100. But the main thing that I'm going to delete is set the size to 110. I do not want to um, make the size go any higher than what it is already. So I'm just delete this block for the sake of efficiency. And the 110 is the main one that we want to change. This here is the back button, which will change the size that way, which is fine. Um, but it's just these ones. Oops, I deleted the wrong one. Alright, now when we play this, we've got these three. So, last time when I came up with the right formula, I think that formula was actually correct. It's just that the buttons were spaced out the wrong way, which is what actually made it wrong. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the spacing so that they're actually touching, because right now you'll see that it does not matter. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the second one, which is the shop, and we will make this 75 too close, let's do 72, or not 52, 72, alright, uh, I feel like the border of these should actually be less, I just changed it to 3, now we can make this go to 73, I'll go full screen to see what this kind of looks like. Right now, can I do touch both? Okay, I cannot. I can not click both at the same time, which is what I want. So that is good. Now I'll make the achievements go down the right amount this time. So from 100 to 73 would be 27. So now 27 down from that would be 50, 46. 46 I believe, so we'll make the Y go to, no not that one, uh, this one here, 46, and then we'll click play, there we go, they're all lined up, and right now that looks okay, it'd be nice if there was a line down here, but that's because we have not gotten all of them yet, we're gonna have a lot more buttons, so now, the moment of truth to see if they work, shop, back, play, there we go, that should work a lot better. So now we've got those buttons, which look really nice. Um, and then that's all for that. Okay, now real quick, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the actually the player here. And here, what we have is we have a wait time of 0.3, which is what we originally set it to. But then we realized that was too much, so what we did is we switched it to 0.4. But now they're different, so what we need to do, I'm going to change this back to 0.3 because I was, as I was playing this before, I realized that 0.4 just really made it too hard to shoot that much. So uh, I'm just going to make them both the same at 0.3. So um, also it's going to make it so that it moves back the right, right amount. Um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do something else that should be pretty easy, which is we're going to go to the menu again. And we're going to go, and it, here it says, uh, right here, it allows the back button to appear when the sh when it receives shop. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to, oops, where did that go? It went down here to the bottom, which is not what I want. But basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to change this to achievement, like that. And that should just allow, now oh, let's clean up these blocks, there we go. That should just allow the back button to appear when we click achievement. So we get click achievements, back button appears, click the back button, it brings us back. Shop, it's the same thing. The back button looks okay, but I'll probably change it in the future because I like these buttons a lot more. I'm not saying that I'm gonna change this to the same look, but it just makes this look a little bit worse. Um, but that's about it for this video. We kind of didn't really do much inside the game. Just kind of a lot of the formatting on the outside. So there we go. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you next time. The next video is going to be the last video before the third progress report. Congratulations on all your hard work so far. And please remember to subscribe. Thank you for watching this video and I will see you next time.